watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. We're going to be taking a look at an older knife today. This one, a Schrade Old Timer 61OT. Came in this box. It got sort of a wood grain style cardboard box with the gold lettering on it. This is the Schrade old logo they used with like a scroll on, on a sign. And it's established 1904 Schrade Cutlery Corporation made in USA. The Old Timer. A knife like granddad's. Then on the side, we've got the model number, 61OT. And inside, we've got like the blue foam. I don't have any paperwork for it, but uh, outside of that, it's pretty much complete. Now, the 61OT is not near as common as some of the uh, other stockmen that Old Timer made. And in fact, like you can see that this is a four inch closed length, which is very similar to the 8OT, which is considerably more popular and uh, probably sold in much much greater quantities now these of course being the American made ones they're just a bit more refined than the Chinese ones and you'll see that the handles are really well done the smoothness and the overall design is just a little more attention to detail and you have with the Chinese ones they didn't make a great number of the Chinese ones in the 61 OT that I that I can tell they did produce one, Taylor's did, and also American Outdoor Brands. Uh, they did produce them, but uh, they kind of sort of brought them out, then they would go back out of production and bring them back, like in gift sets and things like that. So they were produced in, you know, as the Chinese make. But um, this particular USA version was only made for 15 years, and that was made from 1976 to 1990. So they were only around for about 15 years there. And we'll get into more details about how you can potentially date them. But let's look at the outside first. We've got nickel silver bolsters. And of course, they're they're rounded, which makes this quite unique. And the profile from top to bottom is quite a bit more narrow than 8OT. you got slimmer blades there, a lower profile. I guess the idea being this would be easier to carry. Slide into your pocket wouldn't be quite as bulky as an 8OT would be. But you got the beautiful saw cut Delrin handles there with the nice diagonal cut in them. And they kind of fade from a tan to a more darker brown. Brass pins. Of course, this intentionally proud pin is there for durability. And you get the iconic hot dog shaped shield or cigar shaped shield with old timer stamped into it. And just the fit and finish of these USA ones is top notch. If we look at the bottom, you can see how well the construction is there. Absolutely no gapping or anything like that at all. Got the carbon steel springs and the beautiful brass liners. And all of that is very, very well fit together. No gaps or anything like that along the handle there. And yeah, they're just super smooth. Everything just seems so well refined, which is a big difference in my mind over the Chinese ones. But you get very good color matching on the back and again very smooth. Nice rounded bolsters make that easy to slide in and out of the pocket. So just beautifully done. Everything you do to expect from an American made old timer. And this one is really good shape. You know basically new old stock. It doesn't look to it like it's ever been hard used at least no scratches or anything there's a look at that clip point blade very narrow grind on that just barely an edge on it and then you got that nice satin finish with the nail nick and you can just admire the slim style a Turkish clip on that very narrow fit which gives it that nice low profile inside the body there's a look at the other side again not much of an edge on it very good point and again, that tang stamp there. This is the most common one with the three lines, Schrade USA and the 61 OT. And there's two other ones that we'll talk about that uh, kind of help you date the knife, but this would have been the second iteration of this tang stamp on the 61 OT. And the thing you have to understand about dating the, the Schrades is that you should probably ought to sort of focus on each particular model because um, they all kind of had their own life when it came to the tang stamps and to try to glump them together to lump them together to date is probably not the most 
accurate way to do it. So just kind of take each pattern on its own merits in terms of the, the tang stamp. And it makes it a little easier to understand like how old it might be. But this believed this to be around late 70s. Um, yeah, probably late 70s, 78, 79, something like that. That's probably when this was made. But let's take a look at the uh, length of the blade. You got a three inch blade here with a two and a three quarter inch cutting edge. And then we have the middle blade being a sheep's foot. And that one has also got that beautiful satin finish on it. And again, very thin edges on these. They did not take a lot of metal off. A beautiful sheep's foot. That one measures about two and an eighth. And then you got a cutting edge just shy of two inches, about one and seven eighths, let's call it. But very good snap on both those blades. I'd say about a seven pull on them both. And then our final blade is the spade blade. Again, really good snap on that one as well. Let's look at that blade grind. Very thin. It just did not take much off. And again, that satin finish on it. There's a look at the nail nick. Uh, it's all just really well done. Yeah, but the but they <clears throat> they line up pretty good in terms of the edge. It's just there's not a lot of metal taken off of there, so they probably need you know to be brought back if you're ever expecting to get much of a cutting edge on them. But otherwise, pretty nice. And I really do like these American-made ones. Just the fit and finish on them is fantastic. But let's take a look at the history of those tang stamps. Let's pull up some photos so we can look at here. The first one that you'll notice is a three line and it includes the New York on the second line, the NY. You don't have that on this particular one. And the second one is the one that I have here. It's the three line and says Schrade USA and then 61OT. And the final one, pretty much the same as the second. The only difference that I could see here is that uh, the font of the one for the 61 and the model number you can tell is a bit different. It doesn't have a top or bottom. It's pretty much just a straight line. So you have those three different tank stamps that I found. And I believe they are they were produced in that order from 1976 to 1990. Now the beginning price in 76 for the knife was $10.75. And then in 1990 it was $26.95. So it went up quite a bit. More than doubled over that span. So we deal with the inflation today, but uh, yeah, we were dealing with it back then too. But I think for a Chinese made one, you're probably paying about what you were paying in 1990, around in that 25 to $30 range. So the price has not really gone up after they moved production over to China. Like I said, they, they had them made by Taylor's, which was the company that bought trade after they sold in 2004. And then when Taylor sold, some dozen years later or whatever it was, uh, American Outdoor Brands, Smith & Wesson, Battenfield, whatever that conglomerate is that you want to call it, uh, they produced the 61OT as well in, in some gift sets. And I'll kind of give a couple examples here to show you guys. Uh, they also made a yellow-handled version one. So, yeah, there's uh, definitely some other iterations out there that are not uh, US made, USA-made, but... Uh, this was kind of the one that I was seeking out. So glad to have it. Kind of a nice companion to have with the 80T. Nice pairing there. But uh, that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care.